Hi, my name is Bastian Töpfer. I'm a solutions architect with AWS, and I'm taking care of Ericsson. Ericsson has been working with large language models since 2018. Back in the days, it wasn't really called generative AI or large language models. This was an NLP discipline. At MWC, we already showed uh, what their small language models can do and how they can be applied in multiple use cases. Today, we're going to show you a new application of these models in a scenario that's a little bit, it's, it's, it's a good scenario, it's an illustrative uh, scenario, however. So we're, we're looking at a event here now where we have, we have already created a network slice that is catering for around 100,000 AR, VR devices at a large scale event. And uh, the metric to watch out if we're doing well or not is quality of experience, which in AR, VR, um, devices is often is, is often related to end-to-end -end latency. What we're going to look at now is how the Ericsson models and Amazon Bedrock and the AWS infrastructure and services can help to uh, make this a better experience for the customer. At the day of the event, the quality of experience drops dramatically. An alarm is sent to the CSP. The CSP gets the alarm and will want to understand what's going on with that. Earlier, CSP operation managers would have, uh, would have had to write complex queries to understand what is going on. Gen AI can help to bridge that gap. All an operations manager has to do in this case is say what they want to. So in this case, they are, they're, they're simply saying, is there a trend in QOE? Uh, how, how many devices are connected now? Is, is, is there something we can do about it? Without knowing exactly how to interact with an analytics tool behind the scenes, without knowing complex SQL queries or what have you, the, uh, the customer, in case this, uh, the operations manager, can now simply get, uh, get the right insights from the data. As we can see here now, the operations manager will easily find out that, well, this degradation trend has happened over time. Time. At the same time, we'll see that the network slice is actually not provisioned according to what the actual capacity is like. We have 120,000 users instead of 100,000 that we expected. So how do we turn this into a better experience for the customer again, or for the customers again? We want to change the network slice in this case. And this is a human decision in this case. So we're having a human in the loop um, scenario here. Since this is a financial decision, or at the very least a decision that will maybe, maybe impair the experience of other users or other services, uh, this is something that a human will decide. To do this, in this case, uh, the, the operation manager will decide, yes, yes, we want to, we want to raise the capacity, we want, to we want to provision this network slice for more users. Instead of having to know how TMF641 works, the, cust the, the operation manager can simply raise their intent via, via natural language. So they say, I want 150,000 uh, devices instead. With the context that's already available, with the intent that the customer has given here, or the operations manager has given in this case, we can easily turn this one into a TMF641 request by applying Gen AI for this. So this request will be sent over to the Ericsson Service Orchestration and Assurance Tool, so ISOA, uh, and from there, this intent will be taken to apply that to the network. Once we have done that, the network slice is, uh, the network slice is, de is delivered. When the network slice is, is, is changed, we will see the quality of experience going up again. Uh, everybody is happy. The uh, operations manager will receive an update where they can talk to the they can talk to the system again. What is the status now? They'll get that again in natural language. So the key message here is that with the power of Gen AI, with the power of the uh, the Ericsson models, we can we can essentially split the domain knowledge somebody needs to have, the business decisions that they need to take from the undifferentiated heavy lifting that's behind that, that will have to happen behind the scenes. And that means complex SQL queries, API calls, different spec specification that we have to know. Just speak what you want to do, decide what you want to do, and you'll succeed. Thank you for listening to me today to find out how Ericsson helps their customers create network slices easier with Net, uh, with Gen AI and the LLMs that they have built.